Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions, and in today's video, I'm excited to share something a little different than usual. Uh, you all know I'm a longtime AutoCAD user, and the majority of my time is spent using that software. Uh, recently, I was able to try out an alternative CAD software. This is something that I'm asked about on the channel a ton, so I'm excited to share uh, my thoughts, some of the features and benefits and options that are out there for alternatives. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look specifically at ZW CAD. Uh, it's a lower cost CAD software that also offers a perpetual license, which I know many of you often prefer and ask about as well, so I'm excited to give it a try. I want to thank ZWCAD for sponsoring today's video and giving me access to the software to try it out and share with you all. You can try it out as well and get a 30-day free trial by using the link up above and down below in the description. So let's jump right in to the video. All right, so I spent about a week using ZWCAD to get a feel for how it performs and kind of what the learning curve would be like for a new user as well as a user that's familiar with AutoCAD already. I've got some pretty interesting things that I found, so let's take a look uh, at my first impressions. So first things first, the installation was a breeze. Uh, it went quick. Getting everything set up and installed literally took minutes. Uh, from there you can activate your 30-day trial or input your uh, license code as needed. I also noticed that the startup and file opening speed was quicker than I expected. Uh, I did a few tests and you can see here side by side where I was testing opening larger drawings and it was actually noticeably quicker in some cases when using ZWCAD. Just based on my quick tests and a few comparison files, I could see this legitimately adding up to quite a bit of time saved over the course of a large project or years of using CAD daily, which could make it worth the investment just on that side alone. Now, in addition to the speed that I noticed, I also noticed a few things about the user interface. It's surprisingly familiar, as you can see here. Uh, if you've used AutoCAD, you're gonna feel right at home. Not only does the interface feel familiar, uh, but also the same file types can be used. You can open all of your same DWGs and DWTs. The commands and tools are right where you're going to remember them. And many of the major systems and commands work in the same way. Uh, what did stand out though, in terms of differences, were some of ZWCAD's uh, efficiency tools that I hadn't seen before. Uh, one called Smart Mouse, which allows commands to be executed just by performing a gesture with the mouse. Uh, there's also Smart Voice, which I didn't really do too much testing with, but it allows you to add voice annotations to your drawing, which is pretty cool and I could see being useful for those that can take advantage of it. Uh, I also noticed that they have a different take on batch plotting that I think you may like and we're going to take a look at a little bit later. Now switching over to a new software and more so new features or tools and commands can take a bit of getting used to. Uh, I was pleasantly surprised that ZWCAD has a pretty robust help system and tool tips that are built in that made it easier, especially for somebody that already knows AutoCAD and the general workflow of CAD softwares. You're not gonna need a lot of these, but they are there for new users or if you wanna fine tune and learn some of the specifics of the new tools. I know many CAD users can find it uh, a bit daunting learning new tools and features uh, when picking up a new CAD software. I haven't found that to be the case though uh, during my time using ZWCAD. The Smart Select feature, for example, which allows you to use advanced filtering of objects in drawings in a way that makes sense and genuinely saves you time. Uh, I found it super helpful when working with large, more complex drawings that can be a bit messy to sort through. Uh, another one was the Smart Plot tool that caught my attention. It automates batch plotting in a way that is easy and makes sense for those who do like to create their layouts and drawings in the model space. This is going to automate uh, you're plotting kind of like a batch plot, but for in model space, it actually does seem like it will save a ton of time. Even though I don't typically use this type of workflow, uh, I do primarily use layouts and sheet sets for large drawing packages. I can certainly see this uh, having its uses, and I know many of you will really like this feature and take advantage of it almost right away. 
One of the more unique or surprising features, which I mentioned earlier, is called Smart Mouse. It's a feature that allows us to start and execute certain commands by simply performing a gesture with the mouse to trigger it. Um, I could see this being used to trigger frequently used commands such as things like save or new drawing, circle, move, rectangle, to name a few. These commands can be customized, and while I don't know that they would save me a ton of time over typing some of the quicker commands. I do think this is interesting in those commands that are a little harder to type or access or that you don't use so often, but are super useful to have. Something that you can program and add in to be a mouse gesture is definitely something that you can take advantage of to save yourself some time. I also think this could be a cool feature uh, in future generations of the software uh, especially if they started to incorporate, say, eye tracking or stylus and touch tracking to make these gestures activate commands as we move to maybe more of a tablet-based uh, workflow or VR or, as I mentioned, eye tracking. Another feature that I was really excited to try out was the ability to automatically convert raster images into line work and objects right in the software. Uh, this is something I've used similar add-ons for in the past and always had difficulty things like GIS add-ons and tools. Simply put, you can add in or insert a raster TIFF file. Uh, in my case, I used a contour map since this is something I used to have to do back in the day all the time is trace out contours manually if we only had a paper scan of a contour map. Uh, you add this image in, activate the command, and after choosing a few simple options, it automatically, in the software, converts your raster file into usable, editable contour lines within the drawing. Um, this is easily going to save hours of work each time you use it. So if you can find use cases for this one, uh, this is one I highly recommend trying out and something that I really enjoyed using. All right, now that we've taken a look at the software and some of the unique features, let's chat about the price. Uh, as many of you probably know, AutoCAD's subscription model uh, will typically run you between one and $2,000 US a year, depending on which option and version you're getting. CWCAD, on the other hand, offers a perpetual license, which I know many of you uh, and many firms, particularly those that uh, aren't tied to AutoCAD, uh, definitely prefer. Uh, I know many of my older colleagues preferred the old perpetual style licensing of AutoCAD and it is a breath of fresh air to have uh, a new software that isn't a subscription based model. For users who simply want a reliable uh, CAD software as either their primary or for many of us as an additional CAD tool to work hand in hand with our bigger 3D modeling software suites, ZWCAD is a great option and choice for both of those use cases. In addition to the overall cost savings, uh, if you can take advantage of some of these efficiency tools we highlighted and some of the other ones that they have, things like the Smart Mouse and Smart Plot, uh, I definitely think it's pretty easy to justify the switch for many users of AutoCAD and probably more so for any users of AutoCAD LT. Uh, in the case of the latter there, you're getting a lot more tools, features, and usability for a considerably cheaper cost overall than LT since you're getting it perpetual uh, with that one payment rather than the yearly subscription uh, that you're going to have with AutoCAD. Uh, in the end, if you're in an industry where you can make that switch and take advantage of some other alternative softwares with newer features like ZWCAD, uh, I don't think you're just saving money, but you're also potentially boosting your productivity and in the long run, uh, you're not moving away from DWG files. So I think it's a win-win in both cases. So after using ZWCAD, uh, is it worth it? Uh, honestly, I think for many users, the answer is going to be yes. Uh, if you're looking for a cost-effective alternative already, the familiar interface combined with that unique efficiency tool set uh, like Smart Mouse, Smart Select, uh, File Compare, and that raster converter, along with the quicker file opening speeds in a lot of cases, uh, definitely make it a strong contender for your new go-to CAD software. Uh, while it might not be able to completely replace 
an entire AutoCAD suite if you're using some of the verticals or in every scenario. Uh, I think for most and many users, this is going to be a practical and affordable option uh, that's worth trying out. So if you're interested at all, uh, you can get a free 30 day trial by clicking the link up above or down below in the description to try it out for yourself and decide what you think. Uh, I want to thank ZWCAD again for sponsoring the video and giving me access to the software to try out and share with you all. Uh, I've really enjoyed using it and probably will continue to. Uh, I think many of you will benefit and save money by trying them out. As always, if you guys found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Sign up to my newsletter, I'll put that link down below, uh, so you can get news and updates about all the new software, tips, tricks, and more. Uh, on a weekly basis. Thanks for watching. Have a good one and cheers.